what's up? I'm your host, Christian Patterson, here to bring you this week's edition of TV20's Inside Sports Report. For the past few seasons, the Cleveland Indians have dedicated themselves to enhancing the fan experience by adding new attractions each year. Just days before the home opener, we found out what's new at Progressive Field. The past two years, we've completely transformed and enhanced the ballpark experience with major renovations to our concourse, local food offerings, new social spaces highlighted by the corner bar, two-story kids clubhouse and family deck, and of course last year with the new school board. This offseason coming off our first World Series appearance since 1997, one of the biggest new items we've ever had in Progressive Field history was to impact the roster with the signing of Edwin Encarnacion, who has already made a big impact on the field for us. We didn't stop there as we do have other enhancements to announce today. First being to enhance our sustainability efforts by installing new LED field lights. These new energy efficient lights will be 20 to 30 percent brighter and significantly reduce glare and shadows on the field. We'll now be one of 11 teams that either have installed LED lights or will be installing this year. This is just another example of our commitment to sustainable business practices at Progressive Field as the lights reduce our electric usage by 70 percent. Another exciting announcement is we will have free wireless internet to all fans at Progressive Field using the network name of Indians Wi-Fi. As we all know, Wi-Fi access has become an integral part of the fan experience and we made that a priority to make sure all fans have access to Wi-Fi when coming to the ballpark. Another big news item for today is a partnership agreement with the Cleveland Clinic, which includes being an exclusive health care provider of the Cleveland Indians. They will continue to provide care to fans at Progressive Field as they have for the past 15 years. And with the new deal, they are the presenting sponsor of Indians.com and the Indians Radio Network. The clinic will also partner with us on community impact programs such as Kluber's Kids, Edwin's Squad, Friends at Francona, and Cleveland Indians Wives Association events. Moving on to one of uh, the most important parts of uh, what these annual events have become, and that's, of course, food and beverage. Uh, very excited to announce today, we've added a 13th local restaurant to our ballpark roster by adding in Market Garden Brewery. They'll be located down the right field line in section 133. They will feature the Nano Slider Trio at their location to go along with their popular craft beer selection. The Nano Slider Trio cons consists of a trio of beef sliders made up of the Nano Slider, which has beer mustard, beer onions, pickles, and American cheese the tart and tangy slider with spicy mayo, coleslaw, pickled onions, cheddar cheese, and a balsamic reduction. And finally, the spicy slider with spicy mayo, cheddar cheese, caramelized onions, and poblanos. Um, so without further ado, again, thank you for being here. Go Tribe. Progressive Field is shaping up to be one of the premier parks in the entire league. Well, it's just been a little bit over five months, but baseball is back in Cleveland. Starting the season off as American League champs brings higher expectations. Let's check in with TV20 reporter Enrique Correa, who's outside of Progressive Field, talking to some fans. Christian, Tribe Baseball is finally back, and the big question on everybody's minds is, what are the expectations for this team this year? The Sox man took us out to the ball game for opening day, and Tribe fans couldn't be happier. Last year, the Indians came one game away from bringing a World Series trophy to the CLE. Now the Tribe are expected to repeat as American League champions, plus bring the World Series trophy back to Northeast Ohio. We actually have the wild thing here. What are your expectations for this team this year? World Series, all day, World Series, what can I say? It's a better team from last year. They're all coming back, they're all young, we got the pitching, and plus they got me, Ricky Vaughn, man, I'm ready to throw in. Tito, I'm ready to pitch, call me. I think that they're gonna do great things because they proved it all to us last year, and I'm just hoping they follow through with it. We got a good manager, we got good hitting, we got good pitching, all the ingredients in there, we got great fans. So all the ingredients are there for us to go all the way. In. As Tito says, one game at a time, one game at a time, and being a Cleveland fan, I'm always I always have low expectations. So 
keep them low and get excited when they, when they start winning big. Since the Indians are the American League champs and a favorite to win it all this year, Tribe tickets are very hot right now. What I can tell you is we're over 1.3 million tickets sold. We didn't hit that mark till late July last year, so hopefully that puts in perspective the demand we're already seeing. We want to keep the momentum going, especially where we're seeing is in the summer months. Even Lower Bowl is sold out for most of the summer weekends. For the 25th consecutive year, the Indians will play their home opener in front of a proud, sold-out crowd. Fans say they know tickets will be hard to get this year, but that's not going to stop them from catching their team. People are going to do whatever they can to get those tickets and pay whatever they have to to get them. So I don't think it's going to be a problem. For the past five seasons, the Indians have ranked near the bottom of the league when it comes to fan attendance. But this year, that's all expected to change. At Progressive Field, I'm Enrique Correa, TV20, We Are Cleveland. Back to you, Christian. Thanks, Enrique. Well, the fans seem grateful for all the accomplishments the Indians have made this past season. But more importantly, they're ready for this season to start because they're confident we can take it all this year. Coming off a of World Series and you had Edwin Encarnacion and Boone Logan to an already established core group of guys, it's going to be a fun year. You know, no matter what, the goal every year is to win the World Series. And uh, anything beyond that is, is, you know, something we don't want to think about. So uh, I know the guys from the moment they step foot in spring training, it's been about the focus, not talking about last year, but focusing on this year. The Cleveland Indians organization has won 59 of their 116 home openers in franchise history. Today marks the tribe's 25th consecutive home opener sellout. And after winning the 2016 American League Championship, the Indians organization wanted to make sure today's home opener was special. In honor of the franchise's 117th home opener, there was a pregame ceremony to celebrate the Indians American League Championship in which players, coaches, and staff received their championship rings. Each ring has a total of 94 diamonds which represents the number of regular season wins. There are five rubies and a single diamond to signify the team's six American League championships. You can also see the organization's slogan, Rally Together, which symbolizes our city and the fans. Shortly after the ring ceremony, an American League championship flag was raised in center field and a 2016 banner was unveiled in the upper deck of right field. Continuing with their motto, Rally Together, the tribe brought out three Cleveland sports legends to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. Opening day is always very special. Uh, getting an opportunity to throw out the first pitch in game seven was fabulous and then I mean, the two legends that I get to come out here with, and it, it's just, uh, I think, all in all, you feel very humbled, honored. I mean, opening day never gets old. I, I will say, all the years I was blessed to have them, you know, there's always that really special feeling. You know, it's all about Cleveland, you know. The Indians have been very successful lately. Last year was a phenomenal year. I've got invited to uh, participate, and here I am. We love Cleveland, all of us. And when you look at the history of people that have thrown pitches, first pitches out and who I'm out there with, Tommy and Jim Brown, it's a huge uh, um, honor to be part of this. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I don't quite know where the ball is going to go, but I'm going to pitch it. I'm just making sure it's not going on the ground. <laughs> so have you played baseball? Yeah, I played up until college. and uh, But I was a catcher. Okay. So, so I'm, the, I'm, used, the I'm used to the ball coming to me, not throwing the ball. So it's going to be interesting. I had a few practice rounds, and uh, it took me about four or five just to get close to the, the catcher. So <laughs> it, it's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it, though. A lot of fans believe the Indians will follow the same path the Cavs did to get their ring, make it to the championship the first year and lose, then come back the second year and win it all. And it sounds like our Cleveland sports legends are all in with that mindset as well. Well, they're not going to be thinking about it. <laughs> but uh, I absolutely, absolutely think that they can do it this year. They have not lost anybody. I think they've added a couple of players that should be able to help. And they have the experience and the taste of it. So when you taste blood, you're ready to fight. 
Well, I think in baseball, like like the NBA, I think you got to play a long season, and things got to go well. You know, like you got to peak at the right time, and they'll probably be the first to attest that. Like, you know, they they peaked once they got into postseason, and uh, if you can stay injury free and just ride the season out, if you get in, anything can happen. What I see in them is this year is a hunger. And they have a hunger that 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 that, that they still want to get to that 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 feeling that they didn't have, and and, and to lose it on your home field, it, it's not a, that that that's tough. That's tough to take, and I think they want to correct that. There's only one way to go, and that's to the top. Now, I mean, they've had a taste of it. They know what it what it's like. They know how to get there, and I'm expecting them to get there this year. Last but certainly not least. The Cleveland Orchestra String Section had the honor of performing the national anthem before this sold out crowd. With thousands of fans backing them and a very talented team on the field, the Tribe is ready for another postseason run. But hopefully, this time, it ends with a World Series win. Thanks for watching this special edition of the Inside Sports Report. Make sure you continue to tune in each and every week for an inside scoop on our Cleveland sports scene.